So recently I've been seeing a lot more Neo Soul sample cook-up videos. So in today's one, I thought I'd try it out for myself and attempt to make a Neo Soul beat for the very first time. Real quick, I also want to say big up to Jay Archie and Niki as well, because those two channels specifically inspired me to make this video, because I've been a big fan of their soul beats for a very long time. So for BPM, I'm going to take it to like roughly 86, and I'm going to need like a simple piano or something to get a chord progression going. And from the content that I've been watching, this VST is used really often. I know for a fact the piano in here sounds really nice, and it's free, so there's that too. Very smooth, okay. I'm gonna have to edit it a bit in the piano roll though. That's actually not a bad start. I'm also happy with the key of the progression so far because this is an A minor, which means I'll be playing in B minor on tenor saxophone. And once again, I don't really use this VST too much, and I know for a fact there's some pretty nice sounds in here, so I might just go looking and see what I can find. I like the sound of this one, and I'm just gonna copy and paste the chord progression in there and see what that sounds like. Oof. I'm gonna have to duck the volume of the piano though. I think I'm gonna lay that with another sound, so I'm gonna pan it to the left a little bit and then clone it. I'm gonna look for a more atmospheric sound though. This sounds so stupid. I feel like this is what the inside of my brain sounds like, honestly. So I've laid three sounds on top of each other. At this point, I don't really know where to go, but I may add a bass guitar to this one. So I'm gonna open up Contact. And one bass guitar that I've started using recently is the Rickenbacker bass by Scarby or something. I don't know, to be honest, I saw Prod by Lona using this in a video like a year ago. So I thought I might as well try it out. I mean, it doesn't necessarily sound human. I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. And I might add another guitar now, to be honest, because that sounds pretty good. I may have to open that one VST. Man, the lengths I'm having to go to because I can't play guitar is ridiculous. I'm gonna copy and paste the chords from the piano in here. I'm gonna quantize it and just fix some of the notes. to change the fret position a little bit. Yeah, just something subtle like that is fine. It's really simple, but I think if I want to add saxophone, that's as much as I can add, really. Mm. Okay, now one more thing, one more thing. Realistically, I'm failing the try not to open up splice challenge. Okay, this is definitely made for EDM. Could still work, right? I don't know. still sound like EDM vocals, so I'm gonna have to do something to them. But I think what I'm gonna do now is put some drums over the top and then record some sax over it. Wait, I've realized I don't have any drum samples for this. Oh. I'm gonna 
to shift the first snare to the left slightly because that way it hits at the same time as the other snare. So. sounding good i think i'm ready to lay down something on this like i've already got some ideas so it should be good so the final step is obviously to mix and arrange everything but after that i'm going to use this thing to lay down a couple of riffs thinking about using this one problem is i'm nowhere near as good at soprano as i am tenor so instead of kenny g i kind of just sound like the pea shooter from plants vs zombies so yeah let's just lay something down on this Okay, not too bad for a first attempt, I don't think. I think it's definitely missing a couple of effects just to transition the different sections. And I think at certain points, the saxophone playing could have been a bit cleaner. But otherwise, I think it's sounding pretty good. I think in the future to improve the style, probably learn either electric or bass guitar, because that way the guitar parts won't sound as robotic. Honestly, I'll take it. Like, it's sounding pretty good. I'm happy to leave it like that. Once again, a big thank you to Jay Archie and Niki for inspiring me to make this video. Both very talented musicians, and their content kind of reminds me to try and incorporate more live elements into my production. And once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped in some way. So I'm going to play the final beat again and we can see what I can do better for next time.